Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Rooster here in Tennessee looking at this uh, Palomar 250 mobile amplifier. Uh, low, medium, and high. Automatic sideband delay. Hello. Hello. Uh, two transistors in this thing. Haven't had the lids off of it, but uh, they all come with two transistors in them. Guessing this one's got 1446s, again, just uh, judging by the output. Uh, if somebody's interested, popping the lids off is not a problem. Take out these two front screws right here and these two back ones uh, on top and the back, and uh, I can tell you what's in it. But uh, uh, pretty good shape. It's got two holes drilled on the top. I don't know if it was mounted somewhere or if they just did that for uh, ventilation. Uh, either way, um, it's in good shape besides that. Still has the stickers on the back telling you which one, uh, which, uh, where to put your antenna and where to screw in your radio. Uh, hot wires fused, just uh, some short wires coming out the back there. We've got hooked up to our test supply, and we're going to test this thing and see what it does. We'll test it on a bird average first on high, and then we'll test it on peak power on low. Uh, Galaxy 44 going into it. Uh, 35 to 38 watts peak and that's about what you should probably run into this thing uh, you could get away with a little bit more um, anything less than that you know also be fine but you can expect um, a little bit less power out of it these are really good amps uh, as I always say about some of this stuff they've stood the test of time uh, much like the the Palomar 400s uh, and some of the other Palomar amps these are real simple but they're uh, you know, they're very durable and they've been around a long time. It looks like this one's been taken well care of. And uh, as you know, if you take care of things, they, they always last a little longer. So uh, with that being said, let's do the output test on it here and we'll go to the bird meter. And we've got a 500 watt slug in here, 500 watt scale. Kim, 50 watts it looks like. Oh, yo, oh, yo, 100 on the money. That is bird average power. So now we're going to check peak. Hello, test, one, two, test, one, two. Hello, test. Now we're looking at that middle scale, middle scale. So 20 is 200, 30 is 300. Audio, test, 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 test. Right around 250 watts. Hello, test, one, two. Go to medium. Hey, 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 audio, test, 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 test. A little bit less. Go to low. Hello, test, 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 test. Hello, hello, hello. A little bit less, but over 200 on every one of them. So uh, no matter what you're doing on this thing, it's going to do 200 watts at least. Hello, hello. When you key up that preamp lock cuts off if the preamp's on. Makes sense because obviously if you're keyed up, the preamp is not working. So that makes sense. Everything works on this thing, fully functional. Nice little amp, uh, makes somebody a dandy. I uh, had a guy text me earlier looking for something small, putting his vehicle, said he wanted to talk 35 or 45 miles. And uh, I'll tell you guys, like I told him, uh, I think with a good antenna, a couple hundred watts, you should be able to talk, you know, 30 miles, 35 miles, no problem. Uh, especially back to the base station, and uh, depending on your terrain, but. Uh, anyway, I like these amps, real simple, and uh, I think this will make somebody a good one. Uh, somebody starting out on a base station needs a little help, or somebody wanting some boost in their mobile, 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 whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, questions, comments, complaints, shoot me a text message, 423-299-3535. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, stay tuned. We'll catch you later. See you, bye.